Here we are looking at the game-based learning and business simulation uh, designer who sees the world as just another bigger game. He's also the past president of MAPS and a former executive board member of the North American Simulation and Gaming Association, Nazaga. I'm sure he, all of us know who he is. And of course, uh, he's here to tell you and ask you this one question, why so serious? So let's put our hands together and welcome Jenga this Wadai! Come on, Jenga! There you go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you feeling now? Sleepy. Sleepy. Okay, we're gonna wake him up. I need all of you to help you know, to do that, right? So the most important thing is that sometimes when we go to events and all that, we are confused whether how should we dress up, how should we appear, you know, like oh the first two speakers were very formal and then you are having thoughts about your own presentation. <laughs> or should I mellow down a little bit and all that? Hey, you know what? Why so serious? Alright? So why so serious? And let's have a little bit of fun. Are we ready for some fun? Yes. But before that, let's just welcome some people here. Yes. We have some new members who have become part of the Malaysian Association of Professional Speakers. Do you want to know who are they? Yes. yes. So let's give a round of applause for our five new members who just joined. You know, most other members, they only get their introduction on WhatsApp groups. <laughs> but because... <laughs> sorry, CJ. <laughs> right? But because you are here today and you just joined, so next time you tell your friends if you want to get real value for Johnny Maps, join just before the convention. All right? So let's give a round of applause for Nasra Naturhana. Neil Stoneham. Dennis Ackerman. Okay, he's coming. All right. All right? Ira Aziz. And Matthew Peter. That's Matthew Peter over there. All right. Let's give a round of applause for all our new members there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, say, so we are after lunch. And after lunch is the time where, in Malaysia, we call the Python moment. All right, you had a good lunch, now you're planning to sleep, no matter who the speaker is. All right? So sometimes you're caught in this kind of situation and how are we going to wake people up? So one most important thing is the thing about Energizer is that you want to shift control back to you. All right? So I'm going to do something over here. Can you all play along with me? Yeah. Now if you all know this trick already, pretend like you don't know. Don't make me look bad. Okay? I'm the past president. <laughs>
Just action, all right? Because the purpose is an energizer. And what is the purpose of an energizer? Can anyone just tell me, what's the purpose of an energizer? Energy. <laughs> Energize, right? Okay, one of the most important things for energizer is that, like what I said just now, you want to shift the focus back to you. Now, you may own the stage, but they might not be accepting you yet on the stage. Now, this just happened yesterday. Okay, yesterday I had a session, 350 people, and I'm coming on stage at 2.30. Instead of 2.30, I came at 2.45. Why? Because the MD decided to extend his speech from one hour to one hour 15 minutes. You know how kind of moment is that? And when I come up stage and I'm like, hey guys, how are you doing? 300 people is like, felt like a library, you know? So the thing is this, you might be on stage, but they might be left with who was the last speaker. All right? Now, if the last speaker was great, awesome, then you ride the wave. Yeah. Right? But if the last speaker was not awesome, <laughs> then you need to shift the focus, you need to break that cycle and bring it back to you. Okay? So I'm going to tell you how I did that just now. Can I just show it to you? Yeah. All right? So how you do is that you show them first. Now, why we do that is this. One of the ways of getting control back is that you tell people to do something and they do it. That's what most people do. Turn to the person to the right, turn to the person to the left, say, how are you? I wish your mother-in-law was here. You know, that kind of things. Okay? Why they say that is because you are following anyone who's on stage. So it, while I, st I believe what uh, uh, Scott said there, you want to be with the audience, but first the audience must know that you're on stage. Then you be with the audience, all right? Right. So how I did that is, cross over, okay, this is how it is. Then what you do is, you tell them to check on the neighbors. <laughs> While they check on the neighbors, <laughs> I'm going to go this way. So visually, you are just seeing the top part, but you are not seeing what's at the end. So then I just quickly do it, don't hold it too long, they'll find out. Right? And then you do it. And then you do it for the second time. Now second time, you cannot ask them to look at the neighbor. So you look for someone in the hall that you can use as a bait, like Purple. And then you do the same thing, and then you switch. But don't do it for the third time. Alright? Because I said, like, have you all watched this Piramli movie? Yeah. Uh, dua kali saja, no? So use that kind of energizer. Now this is for someone who is very physical. You know, you don't mind being physical. Now I know some of you are very not very physical. Okay. Now before that, I want to just tell you: Should you have a lesson? That's not the question. Just now I have. Should you have a lesson? Up to you. You can have a lesson or you do not want to have a lesson to it, that's fine. So if you want to have a lesson, what would be a lesson from that, that, that activity there? Pay attention. Pay attention, maybe. <laughs> don't trust the guy on stage. <laughs> By the way, that's a good lesson. Don't trust the guy on stage. And what do we mean don't trust the guy on stage? Not everything that is being presented here will work for you. You have to take what fits you, amalgamate it, make it part of you, and then you have your something. All right? Uh, so that, that part is what you call as a debrief. You all know the word debrief, right? Yeah. Have you heard of the word debrief? Yeah. Okay. D is the absence of, of the removal of. Brief is another word for underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say, I'm going to debrief the participants. <laughs> all right? So, so, so. <coughs> Now we were doing simulations and all that, so after the simulation we do the debrief, all right? So, and that's another thing, that's a, what I did just now was called a jolt, all right? Now what I said just now was just like a pun or a joke or what? Now, I want to ask you, that joke that I said about debrief, is it appropriate or inappropriate? Depends. Depends on the audience. Now, I will use this in Malaysia because I know the audience. And I know how far I can push. But if I were to go to uh, Japan, maybe, or even Myanmar, I will be very careful of using jokes like that because the world is so different today. Everything has become unacceptable. All right? In this world of wokeness, 
everything is sensitive. You know, you cannot even say the sun is the brightest thing. How do you know? <laughs> there are other planets, other, other galaxies. I'm sorry, there are objects even bigger than the sun. So be careful with jokes that you use. All right, do I have time for one more? Yes, I have. All right. So I'm going to give you one more where if you're not so physical, you want to do something, here's something that you can do, where you can just stay stationary and do it. And I'm going to do it showing you how to do it stationary. Right? All of you have phones. Do not look at them. All right? Don't look at them. Just put it the other way around. Right? Just flip it the other way around. Okay? We're going to check how well do you know your phones. All right? So I'm going to ask you some series of questions about your phone and we're going to check your memory. All right? Now, if you see phones, the icons on your smartphone, okay? We have columns, row. Right? Do you remember how many columns do you have on your smartphone? Oh. Icon. No, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Keep it yourself. Okay? Some people have more than four, so keep it yourself. Just remember this number. Okay, just remember this number. How many columns do you have? Right, remember the number? Next is how many rows are there, including the call line? How many rows are there? Including the call line. That's question number two. Remember the number. The third one. How many pages do you have on your smartphone, including the page that you accidentally created, which you said that you're going to delete it one day, which you have not come around to it? How many pages do you have? Remember. All right? You got the three numbers? First is how many column, how many row, and how many page, right? Okay, now please open your smartphone and check how many did you get what from the three questions? Anyone got all three right? Oh, give them a round of applause. Yeah, they got all three right. Two right. Okay, got one right. <laughs> Completely wrong. <laughs> okay, good. All right, now put the phone back. All right, just put the phone back. All right, you all just saw the phone, you all remember, right? What time is it? <laughs> You didn't see the time, right? Yeah. All right. So why? Because we are only focused on what we get pointed to. All right. So by the way, the last one was uh, 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 an activity that I, I I changed from Zig Ziglar. Oh. Okay. Long time ago, Zig Ziglar had something similar using a wristwatch. He will ask, you know, do you remember the the notches? Is it numbers or is it a dash or what? Or is that a uh, you know the is it a point or and all that? And finally, he'll ask you to look at your watch. And then finally, he'll say that, what time is it? And everyone will not be able to remember that. But today, nobody wears a wristwatch. <laughs> I have not worn a wristwatch for the last 12 years. So I really do not know what a wristwatch is, right? So what you can do is take some of these old activities that work with the old technology, and you can always amalgamate it and actually use it. And the whole idea is this. You got to pick up your smartphone. You did exactly what I asked you. And I could actually relate that to any lesson that I wanted. All right? So I actually have a third one. Oh, sorry, I give you third one. I, I actually have a fourth one I want to share with you. This one is something that you can use, especially when you just started after a day, after a half day, you want people to move around, you want them to recall what they learned earlier, and would you like to learn that? Yeah. Okay, when you really learn, and you get content moving around, you really love that? I can't hear that, can tell them you really love that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, I'm out of time, and they just said 15 minutes, and that's it, guys. So, thank you very much, it's been a pleasure, privilege being with you, but anyway, if you want it, you, if you can convince the MC, I respect the MCs a lot, you know, so if they convince the MCs, and if they allow me, I will show that to you tomorrow, all right? Thank you, have a great day, guys. Bye. Thank you, Jenga. thank you. you know